Hey, what's up everybody? Eason here bringing another video. This one going to be about Celeste, a 2D platform for pretty much every platform. I have played this game a whole lot and I just kind of wanted to go over a few things. First off, I want to talk about how genius the tutorial is and just, it really shows how simple the game is. It teaches you just, you know, hey, move. Oh, you can hold the wall. Hey, you can climb up it. You can wall jump. Very, very simple things. And then at the end of the first climactic little thing, uh, you know, it teaches you how to air dash, which, and that is all the movement you are going to need throughout the entire game, at least in terms of the first, you know, variants of each level. And the next time it teaches you anything explicitly is in the B side of World 7, which is very, very late into the game and not even necessary to play. And then the next time after that is in the final level of the entire game. And the interesting thing about it is like, things like this have always existed in the game, you just didn't know until then. Next, I kind of just wanted to go over the, uh, just how in, like, how easy it teaches you everything about this game. From like, hey, jump on this thing, there's a strawberry there, you can get it. To, you know, every single level has different little things. It teaches you about momentum very, very early into the game, which is an important thing for literally the entire game. Uh, and it really hammers that in, and this is the first level, just the beginning of the first level. And it really teaches you, hey, momentum's important, it will allow you to solve puzzles. You know, it gives you enough time, it introduces you to so many elements so seamlessly with with no, you know, it's not like, hey, watch out for this thing. It just, it teaches you it because otherwise you're going to lose because deaths in this game just put you back to the same screen. So if you mess up, it's really not that big of a deal. It teaches you a bunch of little other elements such as that dash cube where you refresh your dash in the air. Then every single level has individual things. In this level, you have the clouds, you have the blue goop, which are really interesting because you can do them in any direction. You have the magical space goop in level two, which is my opinion the most fun. I actually absolutely love moving in this thing. It is so, it is so pleasant to just move around and that it is actually so so fun especially when you get better at the movement of every level uh you know it's just it's so seamless and then finally you know at the crescendo of like the story part or one of the crescendos it teaches you about this feather which is the only thing that has more than eight way movement and it is just so free flowing and just beautiful then in certain levels they have like the face thing this is actually my second favorite uh movement thing is this little angry block man that you just dash on any side of him and then at some point he's like okay time to move and then the game does a really good job again since it just teaches you so well it seamlessly is like okay well it teaches you you can dash out of the feather and then uh you know you can just it adds so many things and it adds all the layers that this game gives and it just it does it so wonderfully i absolutely love it next up something i really wanted to talk about is just what really makes this game feel amazing other than the gameplay which is just how expressive and how interesting all the characters are you have madeline the main character theo this little blogger you have this old lady that you meet in the tutorial and a few times throughout the game and you have mr oshiro and then madeline's reflection on the inside and just this game game does such an amazing job at just making you feel like what the characters like what they want you to it has different voices you know obviously they're not like actually talking but they have little like meeps and squeaks and everything is just it just sounds so good and like the movement of the text it just shows so much like personality in a game with literally minimal voice acting and minimal pretty much everything because you can go the entire game almost without learning anything about these characters because a lot of the cutscenes are optional you don't have to go that you can pretty much ignore Theo in the first level completely if you just want to beat the level and they even actually made an Instagram page for him which he promotes in the game which I think is absolutely amazing you know this game also talks about um, you know some mental illnesses mostly anxiety depression which are obviously the hotbeds for what people want to talk about and then obviously the whole game is a metaphor for don't let your demons control you you have to accept your demons uh, and this the game it just it does such a good job of showing all the personality of all the games and this is actually something you know this actual part right here with the uh, feather I literally use this when I'm feeling a little bit panicky where you just kind of control a feather with your breath this game uh, I don't know it does such a good job of portraying it in a way that's not just in someone's head it has real implications obviously because of the mountain and that's part of the plot and everything but the feather is able to control just it, you are it's just it's so good and then after this point that's when you get the feather and you can move around with it the game does such a good job of just tying so many little things together and i absolutely love it and last but certainly not least i want to talk about like how the scaling of this game like how the, the level design and the scaling difficulty is absolutely wonderful this game is difficult you will die a lot i died a lot on the first few uh levels and obviously there is a bunch of optional content in this game that obviously makes it harder because the original you know the main game is the a sides then there are b and c side levels and it's just what they can do in such just with only a few things wind clouds little bubbles you know little goop 
and it's just it they do so much with it and I'm so so impressed and I absolutely loved playing every single second and a really important thing about this game is none of the deaths that you receive or almost none of them feel unfair it is something that's like okay wait I understand how to do this now or you keep trying at it and you keep getting it and you move faster and you move better and it just it gives you all of the tools that you need to complete the levels and honestly every single part of this game is completely fair there was literally one room that I thought was kind of unfair uh, in one of the worlds and that was literally it everything else was just like oh I need to be better oh I need to time this better oh I need to be more precise like look at this level this level is literally all about precision if you practice it you can literally do it in one try like I actually did in this the recording that I'm showing like I actually did this first try just from oops like this game does an absolutely fantastic job at teaching you all these things and then having you get rewarded for being good at everything and really paying attention it is so good everything you learn more about the levels you learn more about your techniques and it just you know every single little level has its own spin on it with the basic things of like hey you have your two air dashes or your air dash and then later in the game your two air dashes you have these little crystals you have all the little techniques that you've learned throughout the game and you know with the um you know the parts throughout the game with like the bumpers and the things and and it all turns into this crescendo of the last level where you literally have to use everything that uh, it's just it's so good buy this game it is like 15 or 20 dollars on pretty much every single platform i played it on the nintendo switch this is not a sponsored video i just i wanted it i wanted to get it for free but then i just bought it and i played it and i absolutely loved it it is so far my favorite game of the year i personally uh enjoyed it more than super mario odyssey which i played at the very end of last year this game is just so so good i highly recommend it to anyone that enjoys platformers to anyone that just enjoys a little funny banter the movement of this game is so good the plot of this game is so good everything about this game is just ah uh, it's so i love this game so much by celeste it is such they did a fantastic fantastic job at literally everything and uh, yeah, that's going to be about it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, social media, Panda, and partner stuff is down below. Sorry for the lack of content recently. Moving has been kind of difficult, but I'm trying to get back on a schedule, and I will see you all next time. Ooh, bye. -bye.